So my name is Emily Leitner. I'm the Executive Director here for the Cultural Arts Council here in Douglasville and Douglas County. We are actually in a unique, wonderful position of being a nonprofit organization and the only Arts Council uh, in the county as well. So we manage different events, fundraisings, uh, we have arts ventures programs, so curriculum-based performances in the school, classes, exhibits, and so much more. So we started our public art initiative back in 2017. And when we started it, we were thinking, what defines our community? What is that branding for our community? So we, I was asking different elected officials, different community members, citizens, and nothing really just stood out yet. And then one day, Elevate Douglas did a survey about Douglas County, and one of the things that popped out to me was how much our community gives back to nonprofit organizations. It was a higher number than normal, which told me Douglas County has heart. So in that, I was thinking, okay, how do we further expand that? Because there's so much that is wonderful about our community. And so I was looking and traveling to different organizations, different communities, seeing what they had going on in their own community. And what stood out is the ones that had a good sense of identity, a sense of branding, had a large public art presence. So for example, Athens has their bulldogs that are painted in downtown. The beach coast usually has dolphins or sea turtles. So that's when we started to pull in that heart and we decided to do the hearts throughout Douglas County. I have lots of goals for the hearts, but the I think the hearts will help give our community a sense of belonging, a sense of identity, and also it's known for public art to bring awareness to our community, to drive economic development as well. So that's one of the things that I hope that the hearts bring to our community. So we kind of had the idea of the hearts, knowing that hearts, um, we wanted to run with that. We knew that Douglas County gets a large portion back of their money back to nonprofits organization. So from there, it's just coming up with the idea, what are we going to call it? Um, and so there's so many things that I think that we as citizens forget that we have in our community. So many str uh, strengths, so many great things, um, such as our new Wellstar Pediatric Emergency Center. That's a wonderful asset to our community. Um, the restaurants, Gabe's, I love their Cajun egg rolls. You know, Hudson's, um, the new HUD truck. There's so many things that are wonderful and outstanding. Um, and I think that this project came at a wonderful time too. Um, during the pandemic where we're not able to go out as much and maybe someone doesn't feel as comfortable to come out into a gallery and it was a way of bringing art out into the community where our citizens could walk around take the hunt for hearts trail that we did in February we did a hunt for hearts scavenger hunt so you could take your family your friends and do a hunt for all the hearts um, we partnered with visit Douglasville as well and we gave out prizes to winners who posted selfies and things like that um, so it was a great way to showcase all the wonderful things like our parks and Sweetwater Creek State Park. So really reminding us why we love where we live and why we live where we do. I'm Brittany Gilbert. I'm an arts coordinator, but I also love to make art for fun. So I actually work at the center where my brilliant boss, uh, Director Emily Leitner, uh, had this idea for these public art projects like we've been, you know, you see in different places and I don't always get to be hands-on with the actual artwork all the time, but this was an opportunity that I could actually submit some designs, so I did. I immediately thought about the architecture and, you know, any place, it has its own vibe and its own feel and its own look. Um, if you go uh, traveling and you visit another country, you're going to go look at the ruins or you're going to take the history tour or the walk through town. And Douglasville is no different. Uh, you know, it's no surprise that the film industry is always coming to Douglasville because it's got its own vibe and I wanted to capture that. Douglasville's heart is located right behind me on the O'Neill Plaza. I've always loved art. From a little girl, I would draw pictures and put them up and have my friends <laughs> buy them. Of course, it was for a nickel or a quarter. And uh, even in my first apartment, I, I wanted to make it my own. So I painted the walls with a mural and uh, definitely got myself a studio arts degree so I could make that legit. Um, and right now, I'm in a period of celebrating other artists and other artists' opportunities. Whenever you love something, you want to decorate it, okay? Whether it's yourself, if you're feeling, feeling good, you know, or your house, you're going to decorate that. And I think 
the idea to put art, interactive art around town is doing the same thing. It's saying, hey, we love our spot. We want you to love our spot. Um, and, and decorating that. Uh, you know, if you're gonna go drive through several towns and pick a spot to stop, are you gonna pick the one that isn't all decorated and feels good about itself, or are you gonna pick the one that's decorated? When my son, who is now a teenager, when he was young, we looked for things to do. I think when you have young kids, you do that a lot. Uh, public art projects, like that would have been a dream, to take him on a treasure hunt. And really the treasure you're finding is your experience with your child. But when I saw the maps and I saw the hearts around town and heard people talking about it, I, I knew that's what was so special for community. What's next for me is chasing the next exhibit and talking to artists and getting my own inspiration and hopefully that can feed out into other artists' lives. My name is Rachel Grant. I'm a visual artist, uh, mostly specializing in oil paint, and I was born and raised here in Metro Atlanta. I'm in touch with the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville and Douglas County, and they put out a call for artists. I responded to that call and was so excited to be selected as one of the Love Where You Live um, artists. My heart is called Douglasville Together, and it features Sweetwater Creek State Park, um, which is one of my favorite places to go hiking with my family. My family moved here a little over 10 years ago. One of our favorite things to do together is to hike. Um, so this is such a gorgeous area. Um, it's beautiful. Sweetwater Creek State Park um, has this beautiful river, the old mill ruin. And it's such a special place for us to gather, um, get a little exercise together. So um, it being one of my favorite places, I, I knew that that's the place that, that I love about Douglasville and the place that I wanted to uh, display on the heart. Uh, the heart is located at Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, which is also um, an entrance with hiking trails. So it seems really appropriate to place my heart here because it displays some of um, the beautiful nature scenes that you'll see when you're hiking at this location. This location was really important um, to display my heart because um, it gives visitors a clue as to what they may see if they enjoy one of the many hiking trails here. I've been making art my entire life. Uh, both my parents are artists, so it's very natural um, for me to become an artist and in my, during my childhood in the home, and her creativity was always encouraged. Um, so I think I really became serious about being an artist in high school. I had some really wonderful educators and teachers. Um, and then in college I majored in art and then went on to graduate school to study painting. So um, I've been an artist um, as long as I can remember, but professionally, um, for the last decade or so. Love where you live means having an appreciation for your home. Um, as we go through our day-to-day -day routines, it can be easy to kind of forget to stop and look around and appreciate um, the fantastic businesses or um, natural aspects of where we live, which is what I chose to highlight through painting Sweetwater Creek State Park. Um, it's just a reminder to really appreciate the wonderful things about your community. It feels really incredible to know um, that my work is on display publicly. As a painter, um, I usually paint oil on canvas, so this is very outside the box for me. And that artwork usually resides in someone's home, um, or in a business, um, or in an art gallery. So it's really nice to have it outside where anyone can walk by and enjoy it. Um, and it was a unique challenge for me to paint on something that would become an outdoor sculpture. If they serve as um, great placemaking structures, um, something that you know, if a visitor or a tourist comes to Douglasville, they're going to notice them and think, wow, well, that was the place for the heart. Um, and for locals, it, because each heart celebrates the theme of love where you live, it can instill some real pride um, into our community. I'm a mom. Um, I know it's something that kids will love doing is tracking down all the hearts around town. Um, but also for adults, it's a fun game um, to renew that childlike wonder and really appreciation of um, their hometown. I say thank you to the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville and Douglas County for the opportunity. Um, it was such a, a unique project to participate in and I'm so excited that it will live out here in the public for years and years to come.